Hello, you're welcome to my YouTube channel and also welcome in today's today class. Mathematics likely question and answer for this upcoming work examination. And if this is your first time visiting my channel or was watching my video for the first time, do where to subscribe, like, or also or turn the notification button in case you have a new video like this. So and if you and if you miss our previous uh, class based on this work based on this word oncoming work examination, check in the description below. You see the link that will direct you to the what, our previous video. So this is part 14 of this one, this work class. So this is part 14 of this one, this work class. And this is the question we have to solve today. This question I have for you to to give you the solution of uh, this question and this likely question for you may see this question this kind of question in this one on coming white examination so this question i have for you okay let's look how you can solve this question now okay this question states that in the diagram pqrs is equilateral p angle pqr is equal to angle pr or s and it's got what 90 degree and also giving the side pq as 3 centimeter and the side of what RS as 4 cm and the side of PS as what 12, uh, 13 cm. And you start to find, to find the area of quadrilateral. So, we want to find the area of this what quadrilateral. So, if we look at this triangle now, this, this space has this clear as what uh, this way has the clear as what right angle triangle and the second triangle is what as right angle triangle. And if we look the first triangle here, this triangle P Q R. If you look at this triangle PQR, we are given what two sides. We are given we are given side Q PQ as what three centimeter and give you the second side as what QR as four centimeter. And for this angle here, for this triangle here, this triangle PRS, we are given two one more side, which is what P what S. We are given PS as what 12 centi 30 centimeter. And here there's no side here, and there's no other side here now. So in this place, to make it easy now, we have to find the remaining side in this one, this first triangle here. We have given two sides, so you can easily find it more than what this one, you have only one side. So in this place, we can use it, we can use this uh, particular topic called the Pythagoras or theorem. This particular theorem states that the larger side, the larger side of rectangle triangle, the square of larger side of rectangle triangle is equal to sum of square of what other side of what right angle triangle so mathematically let's say let's it the larger side which is what p uh, p out you give us p out everything was square is equal to the square of all sum of other what two sides below the first side here let's say p what q everything was square plus the next side we have what q what out everything was square so in this place now, now our PQ, the side PQ is given a lot, 3 cm. So we have 3 words square plus our KR, KR is given us what, 4 cm, that's what, 4 words square. So here we have a PR square is equal to this. So 3 square, that's a 3 times 3, it gives us 9 plus 4, 4 square, that's 4 times 4, then you have about 16. So here we have 9 plus 16, we have about 20 words, 5. So here we have our side PR square is called what 20 what 5 so in order to find the square we have here you take what the square will support on both sides so when you take the square of both sides so this one now became side pr is called to the square root of what 25 so here we have the square root of 25 that is what 5 so here we have what 5 so our what our side pr now we have what of at 5 centimeter so therefore we have our pr was what 5 centimeter here so we are getting what this side now. This three sides so is complete. For the second triangle now, we have only two sides now. So let's find the third word, the third side. The third side is what inside what R and S. So now to find this one, R and S. Now you still remember what particular was theorem again. We said that this is the largest side. The square root of the largest side is equal to the sum of square root of what all that one side. So let's find it mathematically. The largest side which was P and what Q, P S. Is equal to sum of what square of what sum of other side. Here we have this side as what p r. We have p r side p r square plus the next side is what r what s square. 
So in this place, in this place now, sub P R, sub P R is what we get here, which is what five. So here, here we have our, and we have our P S. Our P S is given as what thirteen. So here we have our P S where we have thirteen what thirteen square plus equal to our P R we have five square plus our R S which was eleven four we have what R S F T R square. So what we just do here now? Have a mistake? Let me know this. So what you just do here now, let's make this one sort of formula. So when you make this one sort of formula, you take this one to the other side, right? So this one comes to here, we have plus here, immediately calls this to be something towards minus. So here we have our RS, side so RS square is equal to 13 square minus, take this one, 10 to what, minus what, 5 what square. 13 square is given us what, 169 minus 5 square, we have what, 25. So here, Let's subtract this one for this. If we subtract this for this, it will give us 1 what? 1 what? what? 4. So our what? Our side Rs square is equal to what? 1 what? 4. So in order to find this for Rs, to cancel this square which we have here, you have to take what? If you find this square around here, take the what? The square root of both sides. So when you take the square root of both sides, we have what? Rs is equal to side Rs is equal to the square root of what? 1 what? 4. And square root of 1 what? 4 is equal to what? 12. So our side half S now is equal to what, 12 what, centimeter. So here we have 12 centimeter what here. So this side is complete, or this side is also complete. And we have thought to find what this area of a rectangle triangle, uh, uh, area of what quadrilateral, uh, quadrilateral. So what we just do here now, area of quadrilateral is equal to area of this first sort, the first triangle, area of this triangle PQR plus area of triangle PRS. So let's find it now. To get the area of collateral now. So let's say the area of Q, area of collateral, is equal to area of what? Area of triangle, triangle PQR plus area of angle. Let me put it as this, sorry. And put that this area of angle P R S. So in this question, let's find the area of what of P Q R M. This area of a rectangle and uh, collateral is equal to area of this word angle P Q R and area of what angle P R S. So let's find it one by one to avoid a mistake. So let's bring out the area of what P R P Q R. So we say that you know the area of the vertex triangle is equal to 1 over 2 half base times what? Height. So let's look at this one. This is our P, Q, R. These are triangles, these are rectangle triangles. So in this place now, we have our base to be draw, to be 4. We got this the base and this is our height to be 3. So here we have our B is equal to what? 4 centimeter. And we have our height is equal to what? 3 what centimeter. So let's put it to this place now. So this place our area of P R P Q R is equal to 1 over 2 multiply our base is what is 4 times our height is what 3. So in this place now we have what 1, 2 can go here, 2 can go here, 2 here, 1, 2 here, we have what 2. So we have what we make 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 we have what 6. So in this place our area of angle P Q R is equal to 6 centimeter or square. So we have done with what the area of this of the first triangle here. So for the second triangle, for the second triangle, for the second triangle, so our area of angle P R S. So area and the formula is what one over two times base times what height. So in this place now, our base is this. We have base as twelve, and our height is what is five. So our B is equal to what, 12, where our height is equal to what, 5 or centimeter. So centimeter. So let's put it into the, what, into the formula. So area of PRS is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by our B is what, 12, multiplied by our height is what, 5. So in this place now, 2 can go here, 2 can go here to 12, it goes to what, 6. So here we have what, 6 times 5. And 6 times 5 is what, is 30. So our area of angle P R S is called to what 30 centimeter square. So therefore, 
area of equilateral, which is equal to sum of what? Of these two what areas. So area of area of our equilateral, let me bring as Q, uh, is equal to area of yeah, angle P R Q R plus area of angle P R S R S. So now our area of angle P Q R we have what six. So here we have six plus and the area of what P R S is what 30 or 30, 30 centimeters square. So here we have what six plus 30 is given as what 30 what six. So here is the area of collector of this one. This triangle is equal to 36 centimeter or square. So that is how you solve for this question. I hope you understand this question. I will explain this question. This is answer for this one particular one question. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, also what all the question button in case you have what a new video like this. And if you are watching my video for the first time and you miss our previous class. Check in the description below, you'll see the link that leads to our, our previous class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a subscribe to subscribe before you go and give a what a like. Bye for now.